What's going on everyone? Terry Z24 here and we're gonna do a little arena action here. And here we go. Nice little guild shout out right there. Please be good. Please make sure to check them out. And here we go. We're gonna start off our first match. And as you know from the title of this video, you'll definitely see how far I get down into the arena. Now this footage is like three weeks old, so it's a little outdated since then I've had a few upgrades but I've had a really good couple days in the arena so here is some matches that's gonna lead up to me getting down to that very high ranking in the arena as you saw we're gonna get down to rank 22 in the arena and there we jump down to 47 all right and we're gonna keep going here. And as you can see, we get down in the arena, it's very hard. Um, I mean, you get people that just have sick talents that can just take out your team in a matter of seconds. It's pretty insane. And there's another awesome, awesome YouTuber. Check out his channel if you wanna get some very good information on the Torch Wars coming up. Very good information. Alright, here we go. And I think a lot in this video, I do take the top lane a lot. And there you see, I do not get the stun first. And usually down in top 100 arena, if you do not stun first, it's game over. Usually, you know, the, the IgG glitch of the bottom lane, so everyone's always defending bottom lane, so usually as the attacker, you go up top and, you know, hope to get that stun first. So I lost the first one there. So we're going to go try middle lane here against this uh, Thunder God. So let's see how this works out. And here we go. And there comes some missiles, some reavers. And look at this here. Oh, his Reaper just wiped out my guys. <laughs> Usually in a lot of my videos, you guys could see where my Reaper, uh, my Reaper comes through and pulls out the victory, but not this time. His Reaper, I think at this point, uh, like I said, this footage is like three weeks old, so I believe his Reaper was definitely a lot more powerful than mine. And there's my revive Druid trying to come back and save the day, like you've seen in a lot of matches where the revive Druid Highs came through and saved the day. And he's put up a little battle there, but it, it's hard. I mean, both of those procs are hitting him. Mino and Reaper, so there was no way we were going to win that battle there. Alright, so... Well, we tried top lane, we tried middle. So you know what? We tried the other one, so let's just try him heads up. Basically, when you go heads up against someone, you just have to pray that you get that first initial stun. I mean, and it's basically just a 50-50 of who gets it, because usually down here, everyone has a 5-5 five of five Mino. I mean, there has been some 4 of 5s, but there I finally got the stun first. And here we go. Yeah, this was, um, the reason I got down so far this week, um, well, this week, like three weeks ago, is I was on my week's vacation from work. And I don't know what it was, but like the first four or five days of vacation, I couldn't, I couldn't get nowhere. I was getting stuck. Um, people kept challenging me all the time. I kept getting bumped back, kept trading places with people and, uh, been just back and forth. And then hard to believe now. On a week's vacation, this Sunday night, I just was, I was getting lucky. Um, basically, I was getting my stuns off first. Um, I wasn't getting attacked too much. My defense was holding up. As you can see here, I get the stun first. I'm going to take him out. And uh, 
yeah, I don't know. Like I said, it was just a really good day. Like, um, everything I was doing seemed to work. And in this video here, I only have one five of five hero in the whole, in my whole group in this video. And that was uh, Minotaur at five of five revitalization. I'm still running a four or five Duke in this video. Now, in an upcoming video, I will show me running with a five of five revite Duke, which does make a huge difference. But um, as crazy as it is, I'm still not able to. Well, I did get down even here in the last week. I did get down to 27, I believe. And I just could not pass the 22 again. I, um, I was trying to get there, and the guys I was facing are just way too more high skilled than me. Um, but I'm working on it. I'm getting this. Uh, since now I have this uh, 5 of 5 Duke, you'll see in some newer videos c coming soon. Um, I have a 4 of 5 Cupid, which I'm hoping now I get that double proc. So Duke will hit the initial buff. Um, Cupid then should come back and get an instant double buff on Duke. And then basically, you know, fireworks are going to happen because everyone's going to get double proc. But I am working on my Cupid going 9 9 right now. Right now he's um, he's almost at 8 and 9. He is just like another day or so away and he will be 8 of 9. And I just can't wait to get. Cannot wait to get him nine and nine. That's going to make a huge difference. All right, and here we go. Just some. It's kind of rare seeing like this is the lowest rank. Um, he's like the only one I've seen with this rank down in the top one hundred that I can remember. I could be wrong. But this guy, I've seen him down in the top 10. I've even seen him in, you know, he was even first place. Um, here in the last week or two, I've seen him up there. Because I scout like the top, you know, 100 arena. And there's another nice little guild, guys. Check him out. Black as night. But yeah, um, this guy here is very tough. Just, even though he's a lower might ranking, he still can just do some serious damage quick, as you've seen. Uh, he has some serious heroes. And I'm still debating on whether to re-roll a sprint on Reaper. Everyone has a sprinting Reaper in the top arena. I mean, there's very few people that does not have a sprinting Reaper. But, I mean, yeah, I think it's probably cost me a few matches. And there we go, we're down to 27. That is freaking awesome right there. Boom. But, uh, you know, it's just like, I think I have lost a few matches because my Reaper didn't proc. But with Torch Wars and, um, you know, New Hero Expedition, I just don't know if I want to reroll that. It's hard to reroll a fortified revitalization. And I got that on Reaper pretty much the first day I got him. I did like less than 10 rolls and I got that on him. So I'm just going to keep it for now. Um, you can see he's still getting propped off there. He's still working, as you can see right here. I mean, I mean, yeah, like I said, I believe it has cost me a couple matches, but not terrible. And I think I'm just doing a couple replays here just to kind of, I'm uh, basking in the glory of, because uh, I didn't know how far I would get this night. As you can see, it's almost one o'clock in the morning. And I was like, well, I want to replay these because I'm down in my best arena ever. And I'm like freaking out at this point, like, you know, like, holy crap. And you know, this is just amazing being down here in the, like the 20s in the arena. I just never thought that I would get this far. And, and here we go. And here's this guy again, Burkle. Very hard, very hard arena opponent right here. And yeah, I want to say a special thanks to San7. Um, he gave me a shout out on his arena video. And uh, that's pretty awesome, getting a shout out from San7, you know. Definitely uh, pretty cool getting that shout out. 
And here we go. This is going to be the match where I get my best arena ever. And I wish, you know, like I said, I'm recording with Blue Stacks, and I have it all saved on my uh, laptop. So I have to go back and like do my audio and stuff. And there it is. Yeah, 22 in the arena, baby. This was three weeks ago, but I'm okay with that. I'm finally getting to do this footage right now. And I'm just sitting here like breathing. So if you could have heard me like screaming and yelling at this point, <laughs> it was insane. It was definitely the Sand 7 Pumpkin Duke moment. It was definitely my alpha male Pumpkin Duke moment. Um, pretty insane. Like I was just shocked. And as you can see there, it's almost two o'clock. And we're just going to replay that again. As you can see, like I said, the top lane did treat me pretty well. Um, top lane was pretty good to me. That's all I can really say. I just was lucky to get the stuns off first. That is just, oh. Now I'm hoping to get down to that um, again. I did get down to 27 the other day. Um, and I could not, I could not advance any farther. I just was getting, I was getting destroyed. Um, if you guys could just see these top arena maps, these top arena defenses is insane. But yeah, um, anyway guys, uh, I think that's going to about wrap up this video. I appreciate it. Um, please subscribe to the video. Um, I will be doing another giveaway at 500 subscribers. We are very close. So, uh, thanks again, everyone.